Hello and welcome back to the weekly vlog. You may have noticed I'm in slightly different surroundings. Who would have guessed it? I finally left the house and I'm not just going for a walk down the road or something or climbing. Um, we're staying in a nice wee yurt and it's in a place we think it's, I keep calling it Adele, but it's not, it's A-L-D-E. I've asked Simon this before and he's, he calls it Adele as well. <laughs> I'm looking at Simon, he's behind you outside in a lovely wee benchy area outside with a little deck outside our yurt. Um, but yes, we're here for two nights. We arrived yesterday afternoon. I'm kind of glad we didn't get here earlier, but I ended up finishing at work a bit later. And by the time we got packed and Simon got showered and washed and everything, we're here later than we would have liked. But that's grand. Um, we, yesterday was really nice actually, so we got settled in and we ended up going to have a little pub on site, the Swaffling Horse, and um, it's only open four days a week. We happened to be here on one of the nights it was open, and we ended up catching up with Cassie from Cassie Ferry and her husband, and we were like, oh yes, we'll have a pint. They arrived about half eight, and we didn't get to bed till about 12-ish, thereabouts, so that was really fun. Um, it was nice to have the chats and hear some of the stories of the area. It's such a nice wee pub. I'm a bit annoyed now this morning I didn't take any footage. I was too busy having the chats and it didn't really seem appropriate. It's got one of these, it's a small cosy little pub. There's no bar, there's a tap room. And it's all nicely lit with candles and things and low lights and it's just snuggly, it's so nice. Oh yes, it's also cash only. Simon was just making sense to me. Yeah, it's cash only, so we had a few beverages there and uh, had, like I said, hearing some of the stories and we had a bit of food. We had a little pork pie each, we think, with some pickled onions that Simon didn't eat, but Andy ate, Cassie's husband. <laughs> they were tart. <laughs> he pulled all the faces. Um, but it was really nice, just pork pie with some Branston pickle. It was a nice wee snack because I wasn't particularly hungry. And I don't think you were either, were you really? You, you can come in if you like. No, he said no, sorry. I decided to come in. Don't be throwing things in. You've been bold, people. You've been bold. Um, yes, sat last night and had a few beverages, had the chats, got ready for bed, curled up. And we both slept really quite well. So the bed itself is like a futon mattress, so it is a wee bit um, hard. Not like very hard. Well, it is pretty hard, but I don't mind a hard mattress, so I'm okay. <laughs> Uh, I slept well and got woke up this morning by Crazy Rooster. <laughs> it was making sure we all knew it was morning time. Um, so there's lots of hens and chickens and ducks. Actually, shall I show you? We're staying as it in this beautiful yurt. I'll show you the footage of it before we've dumped all our stuff and it looks a mess so you can have a proper look at it. stayed in a year before so this is very exciting I am definitely getting the wee wood burner on tonight and getting all the cozy feels so today the plan is um, we might have a mooch about somewhere locally and do a bit of sightseeing I might just sit and read and not move and just curl up and do some yoga I've got an appointment at four o'clock to have a craniovasky something uh, yeah I'm really bad with pronouncing things when I read them. I need to work on that somehow. But um, I'm having that done, it's like a head massage basically, a fancy head massage. I'm having that done at four o'clock. Um, so that's the only thing I've planned for today. I might just chill out. 
and take it easy. They've got showers, so I'm going to go and have a wash shortly. Kids, you know it's morning and you may have noticed they look a bit sleepy. Yes, true story. So I'm going to go have a shower and they've got... Um, so they have a mix of eco-friendly and uh, standard kind of things. So they have like a tree bog, as they call it. So similar setup to Cornwall, but it's not sawdust. Um, it's just a big hole, basically, and you're over that. Um, and that's interesting. I've used it a few times and it's fine. Um, they also have a jungle shower. I'm tempted to use that, although maybe not this morning. Um, so they have a jungle shower. You basically have one of the bags and you lay it out in the sun and you can then have a shower once it's warmed up. And they have um, showers, sort of a shower block and a toilet block all in one. Um, and it's also solar powered so the water gets warmed. But there's really a few of us on site, so it should be nice warm water. And they also have backup hot water, so if that runs out, <coughs> it shouldn't. There's not very many of us. So, gonna go have a shower and have some breakfast. Oh, we got a breakfast hamper. I'm excited about this. So it's got sausages and bacon and eggs and bread and various local things. Um, local ketchup and stuff. So, gonna make some breakfast. <laughs> the ducks and chickens are now allowed to play so I'm just gonna try and sneak up on some of them <laughs> not very subtle just put it down I walk up to it then. oh that's an idea Yes. Yeah, just taking it easy, I think. Is that good? Yeah. No, all gone.
for a nose. They've got a cottage and I've just come in for a nose and look. We have a roll top bath. We had people staying, they had people staying recently. So we're still still sorting everything out and I just wanted to come for a nosy. But they have this beautiful roll top bath that's been from Free Cycle, which is just amazing. What do you see? I mean, you know, what more could you want? That's a lovely room. This is so cool. I think I'll just move in. Right, I'm gonna go and investigate the rest of the in the camera and not where I'm walking because that's clever <laughs> oh, look. I'm aware I'm back in the office. I'm back from old campsite. That's what it's called, old campsite. Old gardens camp campsite. Oh yeah. The link would be down below. You can check it out for yourself. We came back and to be honest, I hit the ground running in regards to work and I was ding dust and then I was pretty ill and then time has passed. So <laughs> I thought I'd touch base with you. Hopefully you enjoyed getting to have a wee nosy about the campsite. I was a wee bit annoyed. I forgot to take some footage of they have the hut that you got to see. It actually has a vinyl roof, you know, a roof made out of vinyls. Not a vinyl, like plastic, but like a roof made out of old vinyls. They made that. That was awesome. But I did take pictures of that so you can check out the blog for a proper nosy. Um, we had a magnificent time. We had an absolutely magnificent time. I cannot tell you enough. It was so nice getting away just in the middle of the week and having a few days, even though we were only there for two days. I was a bit gutted. We were only there for two nights, sorry. Because, well, it was lovely and I wanted to stay longer. <laughs> we only got to light the fire once um, and have hot chocolate and play games by the fire as the rain came tumbling down out of the skies and we could hear it pattering on our roof. It was awesome, but it was so nice and cosy inside playing games and things. Um, but yes, we had a fantastic time. My treatment that I mentioned, um, I really enjoyed it. It was so nice actually. We got to, it was like a recce treatment, if you've ever had that done. I'm always dubious of these things until they work. You know that kind of way, I'm quite critical. I'm like, hmm, yeah, right. And then they work and I'm like, oh, right, okay. Mm, magic, <laughs> You're, you must be a magician. Um, but I had that treatment and it worked on the pain that I was experiencing and it also helped me realise that my head gets in the way of a lot of things in regards to fixing my body and I think a lot of my pain could be in my head, like psychosomatic, anyway, but really nice treatment and I came back and I was just so chilled, it was lush, got to really really relax, um, uh, what else did I mention? Oh, just pottering about. Yes, I got to see they were building a cob hut slash miniature house. Um, it's going to be where people can go and stay. And they let me go and have a nosy, mostly because I really want to build a cob house in future. And I wanted to see what they were doing and get a proper look at it. Um, 
but yeah it looks fantastic and they even have a hidden Percy train from Thomas the Tank Engine so a Percy engine I guess you can yeah it was awesome so I'll show you some of that footage it's probably rolling at the minute um, it was really nice to see that being built and that should hopefully be open to guests next year so that's pretty awesome but I just want to touch base and say if you're looking for somewhere I'm aware I got to stay as part of you know so I could have a look around and see what I thought and everything else um, in return for writing things up and everything else no money has exchanged hands or anything but I wanted to share it because it's genuinely a fantastic place the community kitchen and everything and the ducks and the geese and the hens and the crazy rooster pottering about the roosters aren't normally that crazy there's just two roosters having um territory war wars i guess <laughs> put it that way they're normally grand but at the minute they're just having a moment which is quite funny actually because they're neither of them are particularly alpha roosters but they like to have a wee shout <laughs> so it's quite amusing but it was lovely staying there and it was quite nice that it was quite quiet for us as well. So that's obviously because it was during the week, it was quite quiet. So it was thoroughly relaxing. We did meet a few other people when we were there and we did have nice chats with them too. So, you know, there is a wee bit of company generally about. So if you happen to be looking for something midweek, we recommend investigating. That's going to be lovely all the way through to the end of the month at least because even when it's raining, you get to hide in your yurt, which they're pretty big. And you light a little fire and you enjoy it and chill out. It's lush. It's really nice. And you have a wonderful showers and you have breakfast and you have somewhere to cook. And when you're cooking, you're out of rain and stuff anyway. So it's really, really nice. Really recommend it. I'm actually investigating going again next year, just me and Simon, and going for a week ourselves. Possibly going off peak when there's, you know, the kids have come back to school and stuff. But yes, recommend investigating that. Um, what other fun? That's it really for this week's vlog. There's not much else going on. I'm off to Germany next week with work. Um, you may have noticed I'm on different equipment, so better sound hopefully and better picture because I'm using a new Canon 800D and um, a Rode mic because, well, for work. But I'm using it for this so I can get familiar with it and play with the settings more and do stuff because I'm going to need to be au fair with it pretty quickly. But that's the whole crack. If I think of anything else, I'll interrupt myself. Nope, that's it. I'm going to finish this up and go off for a climb with the husband. And I'll get the colour editing done and hopefully get this up so you can see it tomorrow. Yay! Thanks a million for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please tell all of your friends and I will see you in the next video.